Well, tonight we're going in-depth on South Carolina's most recent employment numbers. These January numbers just released this morning. They're new numbers here, and they come from the State Department of Employment and Workforce. Now, the seasonally adjusted number of South Carolina workers has gone up to over 2.3 million. This is the number affected by seasons here, with several industries showing large fluctuations in employment. So it's key to show month-to-month -month changes in employment. That's what it's used for. But this 2.3 million number is significant because that's about 50,000 more than the projections from just a year ago. A state's labor force, which is made up of people working and those who are currently unemployed but are looking for work, is now just under 2.5 million, which is also more than 50,000 higher than estimated last January. Now, as for unemployment, the number of people who are unemployed in the state increased to over 75,000 and South Carolina's seasonally adjusted unemployment rate stays at 3%, which is slightly lower than the national average. So essentially unemployment rate right now at 3%. But we also want to go and highlight some of those specific unemployment numbers relating to the upstate. So the state really offers a lot of details on their state website. We got it pulled up here behind us. You can see this area talking about unemployment, but watch this. Something else the state has added here when it comes to unemployment numbers, each unemployment percentage broken down by county. Now this here, this is not seasonally adjusted. So it's taken a wider look at the numbers and where they stand for the year. So as of this January, this is where we stand right now. In Greenville County, right at the state average at 3%. In Spartanburg County, just above the state average at 3.2%. Let's go and look at some other places where unemployment rate is higher than that state average. We're going to take it full here. Here's three specific counties we want you to look at here at this time at six o'clock. So we're going to go ahead and pull up our big board here. Here's a couple of these counties that we want you to go and look at. Here's one, Union County, 4.1%. And then also Cherokee County, 4.6%. And then we also have Abbeville County right now at 4%. All these counties above the state average of 3%. But again, we said this is not seasonally adjusted. So something that we want to go and show you here, the low country, something to kind of understand here is that Horry County at 4.5%, Georgetown County, 3.9%. Those are higher than the state average when it comes to unemployment rate because we are not in the summertime. So right there along the coast, Horry County, look at Myrtle Beach, Conway, those are the areas that would have lower unemployment in the summertime because you have a lot of tourists coming in for summer vacation. So that's one of those things that we want to look at. Now, something else the state has also offered, the industries that are growing the most right now. So we have a lot of these jobs coming here into South Carolina. And so the state went ahead and looked at everything here when it comes to these job numbers, even looking at some of the industries that are growing the most. So you can see here behind a lot of numbers. These are the industries when it comes to total non-farm employment. So anything not having to do with farming, not having to do with agriculture. Check out some of these numbers here. We're going to pull up our big board again, kind of be able to draw it for you and highlight it. Check this out right now. When you look at construction, up 5,400 jobs, up 4.9% when it comes to construction. So again, we've got a lot here. So let's go and look at the lower part of this sheet here. You can see here down this bottom area, we're looking at education, health services, leisure and hospitality, and government. Let's go and circle that one as well. You can see education, health services up 6% with 16,600 new jobs. Leisure and hospitality up 15,700, 5.7%. Government jobs, 10,000 added. And you're asking, when exactly is this range? right here at the top of your screen for you. So this is the numbers of increase from January 2023 to January 2024. So this is a year increase here. You look at some of these, especially check this one out. This was one of the biggest ones here. Leisure and hospitality, 15,700 new jobs, up 5.7% from 2023 to 2024. Now, in response to all these numbers, the executive director of the state agency said, this approach now will help the state better understand the current workforce and anticipate future needs for the workforce. So we're gonna be covering all this. Again, this is a new approach from the state as they really dissect the workforce landscape here in South Carolina.